Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me obviously whenever I do not have makeup on at the beginning of a video or ever in a video because I would never make a video without makeup without a good reason. So uh, that always means that I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So I don't have any makeup on. Most of you know or I don't know if you know or not but I have tattooed my own eyebrows so if you think you see color there that's because I have tattooed my own eyebrows and I do have a video on that so if you're interested in that I will go ahead and put that in my description box because I typically get a lot of questions about that after I mention it. Anyways also I do want to mention I have um, a few little <laughs> stray tiny little pimples because I've changed up my skincare routine recently. I have always used Retin-A once a week and uh, recently I went down in strength and I've been using it. I'm already up to every other day because my skin tolerates it at that strength so well. Um, but anytime I change things up like that, I get tiny little breakouts, you know. Um, obviously, Retin-A uh, does a lot of cell turnover and so. So anyways, that's, that's why. I'm just making, I have to give you an excuse for why I have some pimples on my face. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is going to be a total chit-chat style video. I'm just going to... Um, to, you know, talk a lot. It's kind of what I do best. <laughs> Ask my husband, he will tell you. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk and I'm going to show you some of the new products that I purchased recently, but also I'm going to try a little bit of a dramatic look. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you would consider it dramatic. For me, it's very dramatic because it's more makeup than I would typically wear and it's totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to give it a shot. You know, in the past when I've tried to do something a little bit dramatic, I end up looking like a crazy lady or somebody who's lost their ever loving mind. Hopefully that is not what's going to happen here. So uh, let's see what I can do. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer and um, hope you enjoy. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and start with some concealer and the concealer that I'm using, <laughs> everything kind of has been rubbed off of it, but it is the Dream Lumi, the Maybelline Dream Lumi. And it's just one of my favorites. I just love it. It comes with an applicator that's all messed up because I obviously didn't put the cap on properly. So I just, you know, put some on my fingertip like that. I don't use the applicator anyways because I don't want to ever go too heavy on my concealer. Rub it between my fingers like this and then I just kind of leave some fingerprints and um, keep it nice and light. Oh, see, I'm totally peeling right there. Sometimes I can't tell where I'm peeling until I put on some makeup. I feel like I need a little bit more on my inside corners. So I have some darkness right there. So I just did my roots this morning. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I just posted a picture yesterday that I took yesterday before I, um, <laughs> before I colored them this morning. My roots are literally like pure silver, almost white. And it's all right in here and all on the crown of my head, but then the back of my hair is still like, it's natural color, which is kind of a dark brown. And, um, so I can't really let it grow out. It would look so silly, and nor would I. I mean, I just feel like I'm just not ready. I feel like anytime you're gonna go silver, you have to really commit to it and embrace it and just be completely ready for it. And I'm just not yet. I've seen so many women that have gone silver and they look stunning. They look gorgeous. I mean, they just look phenomenal. But I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready yet, so. Anyways, um, so I just did my roots this morning. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna put on is my foundation, and this is something that I just recently purchased. It's by NYX, and or NYX, and it's called Total Control, and it's a drop foundation. And I thought, wow, that's really unique. I really wanna give it a try. So this is the bottle that it comes in, and it comes with a little dropper like that. And I'm just going to put it on my hand, actually, just like this, and I'm gonna apply it to my face. Look at that. This is such a beautiful color. I should have probably gone a little bit darker because I'm self tanning, but I don't always self tan. I just have been recently. And I'm using this little wedge. <laughs> you know, I like wedges. I, I use, I do like the Real Techniques Beauty Blenders also, but um, I just prefer this. I love the flat edge. It's just so, so soft, and I just love that. I really, really like this foundation. It's so different and it's so light and it dries down pretty matte. Let me see. You know, I don't want to, I don't want anybody to judge this foundation based on my skin right now because like I said, 
I went from using Retin-A once a week to every other day right now. But I started using this before, you know, before I was shedding like this and, and the application, I just like it. It's just really, it is buildable and it's so matte. It just has a, it has a really neat, it dries down really neat. I cannot, I cannot believe that all I did was scratch this little, literally I took my nail and I scratched it. And it was like microscopic and now it's like taking over my chin. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. And this is um, the NYX Taupe. And I'm gonna put that pencil on first and then I'm probably gonna top it off with a little bit of powder. But I wanna go ahead and get my eyebrows looking a little bit better before I start my, my eye makeup. You know, it's kind of funny because I was just in the shower, you know, showering for the day, but also washing off all of my hair color and stuff like that. And I also decided to do this little coconut, coconut oil sugar scrub. And I guess I had too many things going on, you know, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I ended up getting out of the shower and I started putting on all my body lotion and stuff. And then I realized that I totally forgot to shave my legs. And I'm like, oh my God, how, how on earth could that have possibly happened? Like my mind must have just been somewhere else completely. So of course I hopped back in and I shaved my legs because I'm not gonna put lotion on unshaved legs. That seems so gross. So anyways, yeah, I just, just like totally had a complete mind blank or something and just forgot to shave my legs. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyebrow powder on top of that. And I'm just using the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And this is the dark. And typically, I don't even wanna show you guys because it's so embarrassing. I dropped it and then that one broke. But um, I'm gonna use kind of a mixture between those two. I might just use the darker one. My eyebrow hairs are naturally just jet black. So anytime I use something that's too light, you can see where the eye pencil or the eyebrow color stops and then my eyebrows are there and my eyebrows are just so so thin from over plucking in the 90s and also because i have thyroid i have a thyroid issue hypothyroidism and you know hair loss is just a part of that and let me tell you it is no fun it's the worst part Everything else I could really actually care less about. Like, it's not that I could care less about it, it's just that um, it doesn't affect me that much, you know? Like, being tired and being tired and stuff like that, I don't know. Those things don't really bother me that much. I feel like I always find ways around it. Exercise a little bit and that always brings my energy level up. And I've never had any issues with weight gain from being hypothyroid, even though that means that I have an underactive thyroid and my metabolism should be slower. It has never affected my weight. So basically the only thing that it really affects or that it has affected that I've seen is um, hair loss, you know, eyebrow, even eyelashes and, you know, hair, just I can tell, especially right in here in this area, it used to be real thick. I used to actually have a lot of baby hair that I actually hated i hated it and now i would give anything to have it back you know but it was so difficult to mess with and style and stuff but then after a while you know you get used to working with that and then when it's gone you're like how am i, how am I gonna work with this you know I did also make some videos about my hair loss journey and I did finally discover kind of what was triggering the most recent hair loss anyways. And so it was actually the dyes that were in my pill. And you know, how crazy is that? Like who would have thought? But my thyroid, my endocrinologist figured it out and she was just like, you, we got to switch you to the white pills because these have a blue dye that a lot of people can develop an allergic reaction to and that can cause hair loss. So I was just like, oh, thank God she figured it out. Literally like right after I switched over, I stopped having the hair loss, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eyes and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. This I literally paid like three bucks for and it's wet and wild and it's a little quad. 
So anyway, so anyways, this, these are the colors. This is what it looks like. I think that these colors are really beautiful. I was just watching Laurie from Pride and Photos and she did a great video on what colors you should be wearing, you know, depending on your eye color. And so mauve colors are supposed to be really nice for green eyes. And I do have green eyes. I, sometimes whenever I wear shirts this color, it makes my eyes look blue, but they're actually very green. So anyways, that's why I went out and purchased this and I put it on and I just loved it. So anyways, let me see if I can recreate what I did the other day, who knows, but I'm going to give this a shot. So the first color that I'm gonna use, and I do things totally differently, my technique is completely different than any others because I just do what works for me. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this color just kind of in my crease. And I'm gonna use this little Wet n Wild um, brush. I love it, I love this brush, and they're so pretty and so pink. And I do wanna mention that I do have the niacinamide on my eyelids as a primer because it really keeps the oil at bay. And before I start anything, I always do one last tap just in case, just to make sure it's not moist, you know. And I really don't see any moisture there, so good. Okay. This brush is so soft and it just really doesn't move things around. I love that. And that might look a little messy, but that's okay. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear seagulls outside. And I live in South Texas. I live in Corpus Christi and there's a beach. I live really close to a beach. It's like, you know, it's like 30 minutes away. And I grew up on that beach. It's Padre Island. Anyway, so I just love the sound of seagulls and I love that anytime I walk out on my front porch, I can always hear seagulls. But anyway, so I love the sound of seagulls. It's, it's literally like one of my favorite sounds in the world. It really takes me back. And obviously I also love the sound of just beach waves crashing. Like the sound of beach waves and seagulls can literally just put me to sleep, put me in a coma. I just love that sound, it's so soothing to me. I can't tell you how many times I laid out on the beach to the sound of seagulls and crashing waves and have fallen asleep. It is just, uh, makes me, it takes me back. Now the only thing I don't like about that is all the damage that I did, <laughs> but thankfully I have not connected those <laughs> three together. Those, you know, sun damage, seagulls, and crashing waves. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna put on is I'm gonna put on that color right there, that lightest pinkish color. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on with this brush. It came with this Smashbox um, palette that I bought. And crazy enough, you know, it's the one palette that I always reach past. I always reach for these like really cheap ones. I just prefer them, I don't know why. I don't, I, I'm not crazy about that Smashbox palette at all. The colors are beautiful, but it leaves my eyelids looking so, so powdery. It just, I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay. but I do like this brush that it came with. So anyways, I'm curious to know what your favorite sounds are. I think everybody has like particular sounds that really take them back to memories and just, I don't know, uh, you just, everybody has their favorite sound. Another one of my favorite sounds is children laughing and playing on a playground. If I close my eyes and listen to children laughing and playing on a playground, it like makes me emotional. I'm not even joking. I swear to God, um, I think as I've gotten older, especially after I've had children, I have just become such a sap. I am so, like, it is very hard for me to watch movies where kids are involved, ever. Like, if there's ever a kid being, feeling sad or being hurt or being mistreated, I, uh, I can't separate myself from those types of movies, which is why I don't even like to watch them at all. And I get so, so emotional. I even get emotional um, whenever I'm watching like American Idol and the kids are talking about how much they love their parents or something like that, I'm like over there bawling. Like anything that has to do with kids, oh, it just, I just, I love kids. I love kids so much. And I know they sense it and they love me back. <laughs> it's so true. And it's so funny because I volunteer 
at my, um, I volunteer at my son's school all the time, every week, every single week. Uh, I'm usually there on Friday. I'm always there on Friday. And, and when it comes to kids, I just have a lot of patience. And I just, I love the fact that they're kids. I don't know, there's just something so sweet and innocent about, you know, just a child. So my son is nine and he is autistic, but he is in regular classes. He's in general ed classes. And um, so that's why, that's one of the reasons why I volunteer every week. So I'm there every Friday. And the second I walk through the door, I am not even joking. It's like this tidal wave of kids come, Miss Jenkins, Miss Jenkins, Miss Jenkins. And they all gather around my entire waist, like literally almost knocked me over. Last week, this is the funny, the cutest little story. Last week, one of the little girls came and she ran up to me and they all just follow suit and they all come over there and give me because, but my earring got caught in her hair. Oh my God. And she had her hair in a ponytail. And so we were like literally stuck together there for a little bit and then I took off my earring. But then I had to pick up where I left off and hug all the kids and it's just talk about a, a great reception. I mean, it just makes you feel so loved, you know? I don't, they're just, uh, I just love the kids. I literally end up loving just all the kids in my son's class, like every single year. He just has this wonderful bunch of kids. Now, whenever I go to any type of school events, I, like the other day, we went to a festival. I gotta keep going, I gotta keep working because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'd rather just sit here and talk. But anyways, um, I went to this little festival and we took my, we took our kids and uh, my daughter is now in junior high so she doesn't go to that school anymore. But um, I swear to God, it was like every 10 feet somebody was like, Miss Jenkins, Miss Jenkins, hi Miss Jenkins, hi Miss Jenkins. And their parents were like, who is she? You know what I mean? But to the kids, I'm like this like local celebrity because they just see me so often and I'm always just really sweet to them and I love them, so. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color right here, it's the darkest color, this is where it's gonna get a little crazy. And I'm gonna form my little triangle in the corners over there. Now I don't do a wing because my eyelids are so hooded and they're downturned that even if I try to, it's not gonna look like a wing, it's gonna look, I mean, they're just gonna get lost in my fold. So I don't do it like that, I do something a little bit different. So let me just go ahead and show you. I'm gonna use that, I'm just gonna use the other side of this brush, which is nice and pointy. I love this brush. It's the best thing about that Smashbox. Okay, so just like this. I curve it that way, because there's no sense in curving it that way. It's, it's just gonna get lost, like I said. Whoop. <gasps> Let's do the other eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same dark color and here's where, here's where it may go horribly wrong or it may turn out looking wonderful. So let's, let's see. And all I'm going to do is I'm barely going to take it like halfway there like this. Okay. It's getting dramatic. <laughs> this is as much drama as I can take on my eyes. Okay. And like I said, it might get a little bit messy, but I'll clean it up in the end. Okay. Is that working? And every time I, I make it too dark like that, I just take this Wet n Wild one that I used um, to put on that crease color and I just take some of it off. So anyways, what I was saying is that I just, I don't really, I don't like watching a lot of shows because uh, it's very hard for me to separate my emotions from whatever's going on in the show. And my husband, he likes to watch whatever that zombie show is. And then he likes to 
watch like the blacklist and stuff like that and there have been times that I've tried to watch it with him but I just get I gotta be quiet because I gotta concentrate whoa <laughs> see Okay, yeah, that's not the look I'm going for. All right. I like, I love this Wet n Wild. It seems to, when I make a mistake, it's real easy to clean up. <laughs> and do you see how the niacinamide is really working to keep any type of moisture or oil out? Love it. Anyways, whenever my husband is watching, you know, shows like that, sometimes I'll just plop on some headphones and listen to music because I love music. Like, that is my thing. My husband was actually talking to his mom the other day. You know, my husband works from home. He does quite a few things. And um, he was saying that when, if ever I'm here, it's very hard for him to get any work done because A, I talk a lot, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brow bone. And it actually says brow bone on it, so I know that's what it's for. And I'm going to, I don't know, make it look a little bit more dramatic. Oops. But another reason he told his mom that he can't get anything done is because he said, I have to listen, my wife has to listen to music every hour of every day. And I have some music on right now. It's in the other room, hopefully. I'm always hoping that you that it doesn't get picked up in um, the audio because then I could get my video taken down. But he's right, because I love, I just, music is my thing. I feel like if ever I'm having a bad day, I could turn on some music and it, you know, can turn my day around. But I also feel like music can just really just bring back memories. You know, if there's like a certain song that I hear, it can just take me back to a time in my life, you know? And, and I, it's just like a, a time travel, you know? Um, I can feel exactly how I felt at that time. And I can go through the emotions and stuff. So TV's not necessary for me. I feel like I've had a good enough life with a bunch of different, um, you know, roller coaster rides that if I just turn on some music, to me it's better than watching, watching a show and watching somebody else's life play out, you know? So now I'm gonna take that crease color, that darkest color right there, and I'm gonna put it on my lower eyelash line. It is so dark. Now when I do this, I don't like to go all the way to the inside because my eye goes down and then way back up, you know? And when I do that, I end up looking like droopy, you know, from that cartoon. And I just don't like that. So I only do the outside, if I do it at all. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna put on is some eyeliner. Um, I'm going to put some on my waterline, and this is Almay Intense Eye Color, and I cannot read, I can't read it, everything, all of my products, all the writing always rubs off of them, because I <laughs> throw everything in my purse in a makeup bag. A lot of times I'll leave the makeup bag in the car, I know, I don't know. Okay, so let me put that on. It's a really pretty kind of bronzy color. I feel like it really goes with the plum. I couldn't find my plum. I actually have one just like this, but it's plum. And I've used it, I oftentimes use it as lip liner, but I couldn't find it. Oh, this is perfect. So now I'm going to put on some mascara because obviously nothing ever looks good until you have your mascara on, like nothing. So, um, so far I'm kind of liking this. It's very different for me. I live in such a laid back beach town, you know, it's just, I mean, there's, I used to live 
I used to live a lot closer to the beach and at that grocery store, it's called HEB, you, you, it is not rare that somebody is coming in with bathing suit, sometimes no shoes, flip flops, you know, swimming trunks, whatever. That's how laid back it is here. I love it. So I don't typically see women in this town wearing this much eye makeup. And when I do, it's always a little bit unusual for me because it's just so not the norm, you know? My husband is also somebody who kind of prefers less makeup, so uh, it's a good thing because I don't know how to apply it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the camera real fast and just put on some mascara because I just saw that my battery was dying and I think everybody knows how to put on mascara. So let me do that and then I'll come back and uh, finish it up. Okay, so I finished putting on my mascara and I put on this CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. It looks like this. And um, it's got a really neat wand. It's got one side, <laughs> this is, it's like if it's too close, I can't see it. Um, it's got one side with some longer bristles. I guess that's for the lower lashes. I don't typically do my lower lashes because again, it drags my eyes down like that. But I like it. I bought this for my daughter because she is 12 and she is now curling her eyelashes, wearing mascara and chapstick. And oh my God, she is just, to me, and you know, I could be biased because she's my daughter, but just, I feel like she's just getting so pretty. She's got really, she's got naturally black eyebrows that are arched and they are so thick. They're like the eyebrows that I had when I was young before I started plucking. And thank God that plucking eyebrows is not the end thing to do right now because I think she's always gonna hold on to her thick eyebrows and I tell her all the time to not pluck, you know. Um, but she has such dark, thick eyebrows. When she puts on that, when she curls her eyelashes and put on, puts on that mascara, I mean, she just, it just, it's all she needs because she has really, really red lips naturally. She's got blue eyes, just very, very colorful all over. And it's her eyebrows and her eyelashes are just so long. I don't have, you know, I have the smallest, shortest. I'm so eyelash challenged. I should probably try to put on some fake eyelashes. I'm just afraid that if I go there, then <laughs> I will never return because I just know myself. I know some things I should just not try because I will be hooked and then I will want to wear them every single day and then I'll lose all my regular eyelashes that I have. So let's see, what am I gonna do next? So I'm gonna put on some blush and this is the CoverGirl. I always get compliments when I wear this. Um, what color is this? It's called Natural Glow. It's very, very light and it just does that. It just gives you kind of a natural glow. So let me go ahead and put some on. I do always put it on the balls of my cheeks. Like I said, I don't follow a lot of the makeup trends. I just do whatever I think looks best on me. And when somebody gets, um, you know, a suntan or a sunburn, they get it on their cheeks. I feel like it's a blush and a highlighter, you know, all at the same time. You know what, I forgot to put on powder. <laughs> Where's my powder? Okay, I just um, put on my powder <laughs> and my under eye setting powder and realized that the camera was not on. So what I put on was I put on the Airspun and um, I just really love this powder, put it all over my face and then I put on my e.l.f. They changed the packaging and I don't know if they changed the formula. It seems a little bit different to me but I still love it. It's the e.l.f. setting powder. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put on my lip liner, and then I'm gonna take my hair down and I'll show you the final look. Now, the lip liner that I'm gonna be using is the one that I use in every single Get Ready With Me, and it is the NYX 831 Mauve. It's the color that I've been using, wearing for like the last three or four years. If something works for me, it, I don't usually change it. I have tried so many different lip colors. If there's any peach tones, it just looks terrible on my skin and everything else. So I have to be so careful with just little hints of other colors. So this is the one I typically use. This one's just my favorite because it matches my lip color so well. I hope my music's not too loud. You know, one other thing I was gonna say about my daughter is that she, she is so different than me. I mean, I love, I love so much that she and I are becoming so close because for so long, she was definitely a daddy's girl. Not, 
not until about the age of three, up until three, she was like, mommy, mommy, mommy. But then once my son was born and she was about two and a half, she kind of became a, a daddy's girl because I was so busy. And, which I love because her and my husband have such a unique, just really super, super strong bond, which is just so, so cool. But anyways, now that she's growing up, you know, I feel like every year brings a new kind of chapter to our book, you know, our family book. And it's like, there's just a new dynamic that um, kind of emerges every year that my kids get a little bit older. And it's just so neat. I just love it. But she and I are getting so, so super close now because she's into makeup and she's into boys and she's into, you know, all the girly things she loves. Like she's a lot more girly than I am. She loves, absolutely loves being pampered, which I do not. She likes getting her nails done and getting, and you know, she just gets manicures. She doesn't get like fake nails or anything. She gets the gel nails or whatever. We did that a couple times and I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. I think we're just gonna stick with painting them. I'll take her to get her nails done. You know, I took her and her friend to get some gel nails the other day and it was just really neat. They really enjoy being little girls and I just watch from a distance and I think it's so cute. I'll take pictures and stuff like that, but. Okay, so now this, oh, I could not wait to tell you about this. This is, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. I'm just gonna use this forever till, till eternity, I think. Um, it's a perfect color, it's called, it's made by Maybelline and it's called Vivid Hot Lacquer. And um, let me show you. It, it has this little applicator, I don't know what you call that. I think it's called a doe foot or something like that. Anyways, um, just watch, watch how beautiful this is. Now I do have to manipulate it a little bit because it's pretty thick. So it just it looks kind of funny right now. And then I just take my finger and move it around. I hope the color is coming out right. Sometimes I'll edit a video and I'm like, oh my god, like I can I can put on so much makeup before a video and then in my videos it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup and then so sometimes I'll try to go overboard and then I look crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go take down my hair and then I'll show you the final dramatic look. Hopefully it looks a little bit dramatic when I have it all pulled together. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look and um, one thing I'm definitely noticing in my viewfinder is that my face and my chest do not match whatsoever. And that's because I've been using a self tanner and um, I obviously picked out this foundation before I was using the self tanner, but I do plan on continuing to use the self tanner and I don't ever put a self tanner on my face cause it just really accentuates, you know, discoloration and stuff like that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick up a darker shade of foundation. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.